Hi everyone, it's Kaylee and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am in my car. It is November 13th today and my office is closed for Remembrance Day, but um, my son went to school because his school was open because they did their Remembrance Day stuff um, on Friday. So I'm gonna spend the day and go thrift book shopping. So come join me as we listen to Iron Flame and go book shopping. So I got to my local Valley Village as well as my local Salvation Army. And I found some things at both. I showed you in the video before, but I didn't buy that much, but let's show you what I did buy. Reusable shopping bag, didn't go to Walmart, but we love a reusable shopping bag. So the first one I bought is Eight Days to Elsewhere. And this looks like a cute romance. And weirdly, if you saw in the video, I saw this at both the Valley Village and the Salvation Army. And it was, wow, $3 cheaper at the Salvation Army, but I had already bought it at Valley Village. And I'm pretty sure you can't return books to Valley Village still. I've never really tried lately. I haven't been shopping to Valley Village in a while. So um, I was kind of stuck with the copy that I bought already. But this just goes to show me now that I need to check out the Salvation Army. First, before I check out Value Village when I do my shopping. So this is the first one. And I also got Meg and Joe by Virginia Cantra. Now, I found book two. I've read it, but what did I do with it? Oh, it's way at the top, just a second. I found book two, which was Beth and Amy, at a dollar store last year. And so I read the series, I just borrowed this one on my overdrive because I didn't have a copy. And then I read the physical copy of this one. And this is a telling of, modern day telling of Little Women and it spans across both books. So Meg and Joe is obviously narrated by Meg and Joe. And then the conclusion, Beth and Amy is narrated by Beth and Amy. Um, and I really enjoyed the series. So when I saw Meg and Joe at Value Village, I knew I had to get it to complete the series. I did find it in the YA section. That's why you have to check all the sections when you go thrift shopping because one, people move things and the employees don't really pay enough attention nor are they paid enough to move things back to where they go. And another thing is things are just filed wrong. A lot of the times if they do have a romance section, they are almost strictly Harlequin books. And apparently if it's not Harlequin, it's not romance in the thrift store. So I was really excited that I got the first book to this one. If you loved Little Women when you were growing up, this one is a really good modern day retelling of it. I really enjoyed it. And the last thing I got is actually a present for my son. It is not even a book. It is the Disney kids version of Apples to Apples. Now it does say seven plus, he is only about five and a half. He'll be six next year, early next year. So he is, a, it is even a little advanced for him, but it'll just go in our game cupboard. My husband and I love apples to apples and we have the adult version and we play it all the time whenever we have uh, friends and family over. But the fact that there is a Disney little kid version, it looks so cute. I am so happy that I found it. And this ended up costing me $5.99. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, um, Meg and Joe was $7.99. Thrift books are getting, like Value Village is getting vastly overpriced for their thrift books. I remember when they used to be like three, four, five dollars there. Not like that anymore, so. 
But those are all the books that I found when I was thrift store shopping this morning. Thanks for coming along on with me. Oh, and if you want an update, I got through two hours of Iron Flame. I have 26 left to go. Thanks for watching.